coming up on today's episode of Airborne Unlimited. Archer unveils Midnight, its future production aircraft. That time of year, Gamma releases Quarter 3 2022 AC Shipment Billing Report. X-37B Orbital Test Vehicle completes mission number 6. Welcome to Airborne Unlimited. I'm your host, Holland Lee. Let's get into today's stories. Archer unveils Midnight, its future production aircraft. Archer Aviation has unveiled its production aircraft Midnight, a pilot plus four passenger eVTOL aircraft during its open house event in Palo Alto, California. Midnight is the evolution of Archer's demonstrator eVTOL aircraft Maker, which has validated its 12 tilt 6 configuration and key enabling technologies. Midnight is designed to be safe, sustainable, quiet, and, with its expected payload of over 1,000 pounds, can carry four passengers plus a pilot. Midnight is optimized for back-to-back short-distance trips of around 20 miles, with a charging time of approximately 10 minutes in between. Archer is working to certify Midnight with the FAA in late 2024 and will then use it as part of its UAM network, which it plans to launch in 2025. In August, Archer completed Midnight's preliminary design review covering all aspects of the aircraft specifications and manufacturing requirements, which enabled it to determine that the design is feasible for type certification and commercialization. Archer has also made rapid progress on Maker's flight testing program and is on schedule to complete a full transition flight in the coming weeks, just 12 months after its first hover flight. And after the break, suspect who threatened to crash stolen King Air into Walmart dies in prison. You know, as we look back on 2022, it has been quite a year. We hope you had a chance to participate in the good times and learn and fly and expand your horizons. To wind up the year and celebrate the holidays, we're going to share a 22% discount with you on any King Schools course. Just use the code word GRAVY at checkout or when you call us. Let's have a great Thanksgiving week and a happy holiday season. Unbridled passion, unequaled performance, unlimited possibilities. Hartzell Aviation, you are cleared for takeoff. Introducing Hartzell Aviation, leading general aviation companies united by the Hartzell guiding principle of built on honor. A commitment to uphold the highest standards in quality, performance, and support. Hartzell Propeller, Hartzell Engine Tech, Hartzell Aerospace Welding, we are Hartzell Aviation. Now boarding at HartzellAviation.com. Skyleader Aircraft offers a lineup of the most powerful, durable, and efficient light sport aircraft in the industry. From trainers to roomy cockpits for long hauls, Skyleader has an aircraft for you. And the best part? They're in your budget. Skyleader's base prices are set low to give you room to customize your aircraft to your needs, desires, and wallet, allowing you to put your money where it matters to you most. Visit FlySkyLeader.com today to learn about our aircraft, customization options, and chat with the team. Welcome back. Now let's take a trip around the patch for some other interesting stories. Suspect who threatened to crash stolen King Air into Walmart dies in prison. On September 3, 2022, Corey Wayne Patterson, a 29-year-old longtime employee of Tupelo Aviation, an FBO and flight school on Mississippi's Tupelo Regional Airport, stole a 1987 King Air C-90A. Once aloft, Patterson contacted emergency services and threatened to crash the airplane into a nearby Walmart store. On November 14, 2022, Mr. Patterson died in a Miami federal prison where he was awaiting psychological evaluation and possibly trial. Patterson faced a number of federal charges. A Mayor Flight Metroliner goes down on Wisconsin golf course. On Tuesday, November 15th, an Ameriflight Fairchild SA-227AT expediter made an emergency landing on the links of the Western Lakes Golf Club in Pewaukee, Wisconsin. The aircraft came down three nautical miles short of Waukesha, Wisconsin Airport, its filed destination, while attempting the ILS approach to runway 10 in visibility limited by snowfall. Fifteen minutes prior to the accident, visibility at UES was reported to be 800 meters. The three crew members and cargo of 56 dogs survived the accident with only minor injuries. AEA joins Aviation Coalition in urging extension of 5G C-band deadline. On November 15, 2022, the AEA joined several aviation industry groups urging the U.S. government to delay deadlines to retrofit radar altimeters designed to avoid potential 5G C-band interference. 
In a letter sent to government officials, including the FAA's acting administrator and the Secretary of Transportation, the coalition wrote, quote, Our industry is strongly supportive of the deployment and implementation of 5G services nationwide, but we will not compromise aviation safety. Since our conversations last winter, the FAA has verified that certain aircraft RAs are susceptible to interference from 5G signals with a subsequent degradation of safety, end quote. NetJets expands Scottsdale facility. NetJets has broken ground on a brand new exclusive use facility in Scottsdale, Arizona. The new location is expected to, quote, significantly improve direct collaboration with supply chain partners, end quote, and greatly increase service efficiencies to the firm's fleet of jets. NetJets expects that the change will provide seamless access to aircraft with additional ramp space, easing congestion and fuel delays at the popular location. The improvement in on-time performance will be well appreciated by NetJets owners, especially those availing themselves of the upcoming on-site private boarding lounge. Well, that's it for today's trip around the patch. Let's get back to the rest of the news. It's that time of year. Gamma releases quarter 3 2022 AC shipment billing report. The General Aviation Manufacturers Association has published the third quarter 2022 General Aviation Aircraft Shipment and Billing Report. The aircraft manufacturing industry's results for the first nine months of 2022, when compared to the same period in 21, point to increasing aircraft deliveries across all segments along with an increase in the overall value of the aircraft shipments. Quote, demand for general aviation aircraft remains hearty as our industry continues to strategically navigate ongoing challenges, which include issues with supply chain and workforce shortages within our industry and within global regulatory authorities. Deliveries are converging on and in some cases surpassing the levels we were experiencing prior to the pandemic, which is a testament to the strength of our industry and the importance and utility of general and business aviation, end quote, said Gamma President and CEO Pete Bunce. Quote, as we look to the future, we must focus attention on the need for training of the regulator workforce and leveraging of bilateral safety agreements between regulatory bodies to improve both certification and validation processes, end quote. And after these messages, X-37B orbital test vehicle completes mission number six. Aviation Safety Resources is disrupting the market for aircraft emergency parachute recovery systems. ASR systems are smaller, lighter weight, and offer longer repack cycles than similar products available in the current market. ASR has a recovery system available for every type of aircraft. Sport, experimental, light sport, general aviation, urban air mobility, vertical takeoff and landing, electric propulsion, and unmanned aerial systems. Find the right product for your aircraft at AviationSafetyResources.com. Are you tired of tucking your phone under your headset to make a call and having cords and adapters strewn about the cockpit? Experience wireless cell phone communications and your personal music with Pilot Communications Blue Link 2. Blue Link 2 gives you a wearable link to two Bluetooth enabled devices at the same time and can even control your phone and music. Use Blue Link 2 with your existing headset or a Pilot Communications headset from pilot-usa.com. Throughout the globe, Piper Aircraft has hand-selected the very best in company representation, service, and support. From first inquiry to acquisition to product support, Piper Aircraft ownership is seamless and worry-free. Piper Aircraft authorized dealers, factory trained, factory connected. Welcome back. X-37B Orbital Test Vehicle completes mission number six. The Boeing X-37B Orbital Test Vehicle 6, or OTV-6, successfully deorbited and landed at NASA's Kennedy Space Center Shuttle Landing Facility earlier this week, marking the sixth successful flight for the uncrewed reusable space plane. The mission was the first to include an attached service module, a modular expandable system that will eventually add a range of capabilities to the X-37B should it enter service in earnest. The success bodes well for the program, showing that the test vehicle could successfully detach from the module prior to landing. The unit cannot remain on board the X-37B during the landing process, requiring separate disposal in accordance with Space Force procedures. The attached module carried some experimental equipment from the Naval Research Laboratory, namely their photovoltaic radio frequency antenna module, during its brief jaunt in space. That experiment successfully harnessed solar rays outside of Earth's atmosphere and aimed to transmit power to the ground in the form of radio frequency microwave energy. 
Additional NASA experiments were also along for the ride, testing the outcome of long-term exposure on seeds and new materials for future missions. The METIS-2 project will help to evaluate thermal control coatings, printed electronic materials, and new radiation shielding materials. The sixth mission conducted on-orbit experiments for 908 days in total. And that's our show for today. You can catch episodes of Airborne on YouTube, Roku, or Fire TV. Just search for Aero News or Airborne, and don't forget to follow us on social media. Thanks for watching.